Hello, and welcome back to Epic Mickey 2, where last time we did a bunch of stuff here in Mean Street, and this time we're going to continue to do stuff here and wherever else we can, but uh, I need to try to keep it a little bit shorter. Oswald, I'm going to hit you if you don't move. Cool. Lots of stuff. Anyway. Goodness, Mickey. We have enough metal. You said that a few moments ago. Face. You want to get to the DEC, yes? Well, I have just the way. Okay. The entrance lies beyond the fence in the construction area. But I would rather you opening? not smash your way in like a bull in a china shop. No? Sure thing. The other entrance is through this windmill. Goes. But you can see that the quake was not kind to this poor thing. Ha <laughs> You found some scrap metal! May I use it to repair the windmill? How much? Fifty? I don't know how many I have, but whatever. Come on, Mickey. We got things to do. We're doing the things that we have to do, Oswald. Look over there! Look at that! If what we the... get down into the windmill, we'll be able to brave the DEC. What was that all about? What does he have to say now? <laughs> Thank you, Mizzen. Now the windmill can be fixed, and you can drop to the DEC entrance below. Okay. Mickey, the DEC entrance is on the floor right over there. What did DEC stand for again? Broke the projectors. I don't know. Yeah, I know There's a thing back there. Oh. Someone thought this was important enough to put it in a chest. You should hang on to it. Okay. Not like I have much of another cho much uh, much choice in the matter. Don't worry about it. Why does he do that on his own sometimes? And sometimes I have to tell him Wait, to do Mickey. it. Wait, The DEC entrance is on the floor. We should head to Oztown. But I want to know what's there. I like exploring. Let me explore. Why did I say that? Never let me say that again. Ever. Okay. Well, uh... Let's head to Oztown. Do you wish to enter the DEC? Sure. Well then, I guess we're not doing more stuff in Main Street. We're heading to Oztown, which is pretty cool because I like Oztown. You know, I read a review. I found out that I have, uh... Oh, I forgot about these things. Uh, I found out through that uh, through buying them off of a friend, I have Nintendo Power magazines that are old enough to have the reviews of uh, both Epic Mickey 1 and 2. And one complaint about Epic Mickey 2 was that a lot of the locales from Epic Mickey 1 were reused, at least in the opening. I'm not sure I comp would complain about that, though. Okay. I'm not sure I'd complain about that, though, because, uh... I don't know. I like seeing how things have changed over time. This is interesting. It's like a projector screen. And I kind of remember this, too. It's like a projector screen from the first game, but with the ability to use paint and thinner and whatnot. There weren't any real 2D sections in the first game where you could actually use paint and thinner and everything. Alright, Oswald. Hey, be careful. Hmm. Okay, either I have to paint something or I have to thin something. I think I have to thin something. Which is a shame. That looks cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, there's lots and lots of stuff I'm not doing, because I'm just trying to get through this, figure out what's even going on. So you hold down A to push or pull this thing somehow. <laughs> That's an awesome Rube Goldberg machine, I love it. Hey! I know that song. Hey, 
That's from the end of Plutopia from the first game. What an odd musical choice. At least I'm pretty sure it is. I've spent some time listening to the Epic Mickey soundtrack, if you can't tell. <laughs> the Gremlins, Walt Disney. Hmm. <laughs> Mickey, the TV sketches can be used to activate the charging stations around Wasteland. I don't have TV sketches, so thank you. At least I know that uh, I can't do that now. Sure. This place is weird. I don't remember what DEC stood for. But this place is bizarre. Anyway. Ooh. Prescott's theme, I believe. Hello, Prescott. Haven't destroyed my phone yet, have you? Oh, shut her off, you worthless little... Hi. Well, well. Now look who's decided to grace us with his presence. You've gotten Say an attitude Prescott, adjustment since the first we game. We gotta get to Rainbow Caverns fast. Is the DEC still working? Not exactly. It's down in that thinner sinkhole. Jamface gave Goofy some thinner pumps, but they'll take far too long. Naturally, I told Goofy how to upgrade Naturally. Them. You, uh, you let Goofy do this? Are you nuts? <laughs> I love Goofy. <laughs> He's awesome. Oh, boy. <laughs> Could you care less? Goofy, what happened? Well, An explosion. I was trying to fix these pumps, just like Prescott told Aww, me. Oh, I love the Goofy voice. What I did, though, because they all went kablooey. <laughs> I told them to overcharge one pump, not three. Yes, it makes the pump slightly unstable, but it also uh -huh. gets the job done faster. I remember all too well how unstable it makes them. Oh, they look more than slightly dangerous to me. Well, I think I'll just go ahead and use the pumps how Jamface told me. And hey, you fellers can help me get those pumps back. Well, I got a fairy sketch oh, around here somewhere. Oh, this was a new type of sketch. It was super cool. Fairy sketch? Yes, this is like the first game. Yes. Sketch. Just think happy thoughts. That's my motto. Just like the old cutscenes. I love it. Use a fairy sketch on a large object or even an enemy to make them float. You can then hit it with paint or electricity <laughs> to send it spinning. Ah. But be careful. Thinner will cancel the effect. I love the little use the spatter. cycle sketch button to choose the fairy sketch and the car sketch button to use it. Like all sketches, once you find one, you can use it whenever you wish. Unlike in the first game. Fine, but if you'd like to do things quickly, come talk to me. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, Gus. Oh, hmm, dear. Indeed. Uh oh. Okay, how do I fix the train station? Spraying paint on the train station, man. Hey, Mickey, the quake collapsed this train station into, well, that. It's a mess, right? Yeah. Pulling everything out again is going to take some muscle. And muscle isn't really my thing, you know? Think you can stretch the train station out? A fairy sketch Ooh. would probably lift up the roof, too. Then just paint it in, and all will be good. Right, so we just gotta... Uh, okay, we just got this. How do I cycle through sketches? I don't remember the controls. They've changed them from the first game. Oh no, I remember. It was tap the plus button to cycle through them and then hold it to use them. I am painting this in, Oswald. Hey, you did it! Thanks a bunch! Let me give you something for helping me out. 
Nice remix of Oztown theme. Of the Oztown theme. All aboard! Oh, I can ride the train. And I can get back and forth. Cool. I may be using that. Ooh, scrap metal. Cool. That looks just like it used to. That's a bit different, though. Gag Factory is seeing some renovations. Right, so funny story. So there are three pumps that you can use to fix this, and when I first played it, the game glitched out, and one of the pumps disappeared, and I could not, for the life of me, get it back. And I... All you gotta do is use the fairy sketch to make the pump float like a feather. Then just I, aim your paint or electricity at yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and Goofy. watch it move. Um... Don't listen to that goof. My supercharger will get the job done with just one pump machine. Okay. Just bring a pump to the supercharger by the gag factory and use Oswald's electric beam to charge it. Careful, though. The effect won't last long, so make sure to put the pump on its base next to the pool before the charge goes away. So, instead of restarting the game, I just went ahead and figured since I didn't have all three pumps, I was going to have to use... Prescott supercharger thing. So I put one pump on it, and here's what that does. Yeah, it gets rid of the thinner, but it also permanently sprays more than one of these houses in a way that is impossible to undo, so you can never access them. Because right now, you can't paint it in, and you can't walk in the door. So, yes game, thanks for being especially subtle with that. That big plus sign there. Fairy sketch only lasts a little while. Okay. And now I can just push it. So yeah. Still not sure how I managed to get that thing to glitch out of uh, out of bounds. But I'm not gonna do that again this time. I regretted that so much. I didn't realize Prescott's thing was gonna be such a horrible idea. Ah, oh, it's Goofy's old vacuum leg. Okay, as I recall... Oh, that's much easier than it used to be. Oswald, move. No, like, move out of the way so I can paint stuff. Oh, never mind. This is hollow. Sorry, Oswald. Oh, it's Clarabelle's house. It's got little hearts. Gorge, you found it! Bring it down no, and connect no. it up to that pipe right there. Ah. No, that's Clarabelle's house. This is Hortensia's house. Come on, Mickey. There you go. No, not again. I don't want to have to climb this again. It's boring. Oh! Whoa! I didn't want to do all that. I just wanted to do a little. This was the one I glitched out, I think. I don't know. Alright, I gotta get around on the other side. There's another pump on top of the gag factory. Let's go get it! Let's? I have a suspicion I'm gonna be the only one doing let's anything. Sorry, that sounded really rude. But I guess I am let's playing. I don't know. Just go and connect it on the last pipe. And then we can start draining the thinner. I think using a fairy sketch would be best for this one. Oh, drat. I forgot. <laughs> I tapped it. So I just uh changed it. Oh cool! You can use multiple sketches at once. I'd forgotten that. It's neat that you can sort of combine them. I really do much prefer how they handle sketches in this game. Yeah, I'm sure it's not damaged at all. Oh, wait. That one's already done. And... Thank you, Oswald. 
And now I finally get to see what happens when you do this the right way, because I didn't do it the first time. Because the other thing it did was that whole fountain just went down under and disappeared. So it's still spraying Mickey's house, but now it's not spraying everyone else's. Hey, Goofy, you did it. Oh, look at that! The pumps are working! Didn't think they had it in them. <laughs> oh! Say, you know what? I got something for you! Ooh. Hope you like it! Thank you. Come on back and talk to me later. I might need your help cleaning this place up. What does Prescott have to say? I'm sure he's not happy at all. Uh, I don't know why you bothered with all three. I gave you the right way. But if you like carrying all those pumps, it's no skin off my nose. Man, he was not nearly this rude in the first game. Yeah, so that's the pump supercharger. So now we can get down there. I wonder how we're going to stop it from uh, continually thinning Mickey's house. I'm sure there's going to be something later on. Anyway, let's explore a little bit of Oztown. Now that we've got the train station working, maybe Hortensia could come home. My other house is a castle. That's cute. Wasn't that also from Plutopia? That music? Odd. Anyway, let's see how Clarabelle is doing. Wow, this looks remarkably like it did in the other one. Wait a minute, I know this music too. This is from the projector screen to Ventureland. I don't remember what the cartoon was called, but I know this is that one. Interesting that they're recycling projector Whoa! screen themes. Clarabelle's garden. It was her pride and joy. Wow. And now look, ruined by the quake. If we can, we should try to bring some life back to it. But what in the world would grow here now? Go away, Oswald. Okay. Well, at the very least, I can paint in uh, the stuff that's here. I don't have much paint left, do I? Well, that's a bit better, isn't it? Anything else I can do? I think that's it. Anyway, let's go talk with the color bell. Did I hear the mad doctor is helping out? Yep. My, my, who would have imagined that? <laughs> What's she humming? I don't know what that tune was. I just hope we don't see any more shaking. One quake is quite enough, thank you very much. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do right now. Clarabelle's you garden. just said this, it Gus. Was pride and joy. And now, look, ruined by the quake. Looks a lot if better, can, excuse me. try to bring some life back to it. But what in the world would grow here now? Maybe I'm supposed to take a picture. The camera does not want to come up. Oh well. Did what I could do. I don't think that's everything in Oztown though. So, we can't go into the gag factory, I would guess. But I do believe there was something involving a certain... ...pirate. Is it me or is this place a lot smaller than it was before? A lot less thinner, a lot less dangerous. That's a thing! Where's Donald's tugboat? 
Huh. Anyway. Now, as I recall, this was how we got to Mickey Drink Mountain. Before. Oops. I feel like I remember them saying, or remember uh, hearing that they wanted to do another... Okay, nothing back there. That they wanted to do another uh, Mickey Junk Mountain area, but they were pressed for time and weren't able to do it. Poor thing. Look out! There we go. That Moody. He used to be a big know-it-all. But after his accident, he's uh, become a big yes. know-it-nothing. So, I guess that other people had trouble, or, like, had trouble doing what I did in the last game. Uh, other people found it difficult somehow to not drop the safe on Moody. Or the, uh, which, I mean, I failed the first time. Or maybe they uh, just wanted to drop it. But this game assumes that you dropped the safe on Moody, even if you didn't. Oh, cool. It's still got the old Toontown logo thing. Going on. So yeah, this game assumes that he's been hit in the head with that safe that we graciously did not drop on him in our first playthrough. What was with Oswald there? Hello there, mateys. I be uh, moody, they tell me. I don't rightly remember. Rigger Green says I'll be in some kind of accident, but I don't be remembering that neither. Yeah, we also saved Rigger Green. In fact, who be you fellas again? Now, what I do remember is a house of blue, but one that ain't blue no more. Fixed that, buddy. Now, what I do remember is a house of blue, but one that ain't blue no more. What do you have to say, Gus? Poor Moody. He used to be so happy here in Oztown, but now he's gone and forgotten why. If we take photos of his favorite things, he might remember how much he loved it here. He mentioned having a house of blue, so we might want to start there. Should we take a picture of oh, it while it's blue? We might also want to speak to the pirate leaning against that wall. His or name is Figger Green, and he's Moody's cousin, I think. He might be able to help. Okay. Well, I painted in the house. I hope that doesn't make a difference. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some distance. Well, by the green Mickey Mouse ears, I think I'm gonna take that as a good sign. Brilliant photo, Mickey. Let's see what Moody has to say. Oh, I thought we had to go get those developed or something. As I recall, if you talk to Rigger Green, he gives you some alternate photos that you could get for Moody because he wants Moody to go back out questing with him again, and Moody had stopped doing that, so you basically are given the choice between helping Moody find his memories or helping Rigger Green get the cousin that he wants back. Cool, blimey, look at that! It be me house! I can't believe I forgot my own home! Thanks for this, matey! I got something I can give you to show my gratitude! So what be next? Hmm, let me think. How about critters of the fairest blue hopping in front of their mother's home? I don't remember <gasps> no more. Ah, I know what that is. That would be bunny children in front of Hortensia's house. Unfortunately, we cannot currently do that. Because there are not any bunny children around here. Thank goodness. Anyway, I suppose I should at least talk to this guy. Over the last few years, Moody's been a real gentleman, trying to clean up his act he has. He's a pirate, I tell ya. Me and him would sail wasteland on the thinner sea looking for trouble. But now, I maybe if I get him some pictures of what else be out there, he'll go adventuring with me again. I know. Get me a photo of the Thinner Falls and the indelible inkwell in Rainbow Falls. <laughs> That'll put mm. some perk in his memory. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to go with Moody's memories instead of this guy's memories. I'd rather help Moody remember who he was. Anyway... 
As I said, I want to keep this episode shorter than the last one, so let's go down. And then that's probably going to be it. Oh no, that was what happened. Not the fountain going down. I wonder where they'll end up. Perhaps we can search for them when more of the thinner has been pumped out. I don't remember ever finding them. A lot of machines in Wasteland use them now for easy access to their programming. In fact, I would like to give Oswald another reason for being in the game. So he can reprogram these machines. There we go. To begin, Oswald needs only to fire electricity at the access point. Right, so this is a little mini game. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I'm gonna have to do anything since I'm not playing as Oswald. Or if he'll reprogram it for me. You did it. Great work, okay, so he just does it. So in the uh if you're playing as Oswald, there's a little mini game that you have to do in order to uh reprogram that. Hey! Hello. Hello, lads! Now that the thinner's clear, I can get back to work. Oh gosh, you were trapped down here. If you're looking for the DEC entrance, it's across the way. As for me, I'm trying to open this door here. As you can I could see, fix that. all the gears got thinned out. If you paint them in, the door should open. I could do that. Flashbacks to the opening of the first game. All the bet rides. Oh. It's one of the Mad Doctor's Beetle works. Oswald, right. maybe you could reprogram it to deal with those steam pipes. This is actually a pretty good way to introduce that concept. So, you could never befriend animatronics in the first game, but they changed that in this game so that Oswald could reprogram them. And, in doing so, they would actually help by going and doing things for you. I think I, s I just trapped it. I don't know. Ow. Aren't you supposed to go deal with the pipes? Didn't Oswald just reprogram you to deal with the pipes? It's one of the Mad Doctor's Beetle works. Oswald, maybe you could reprogram it to deal with those steam pipes. Yeah, he just did. Sorry. Sensor bar is acting weird. Maybe that'll fix it. Shouldn't it be doing something right now? Did the game break already? Because I don't want to hit the thing, because if I hit the thing, it's going to break. And if it breaks, no one's going to deal with the pipes. Okay, nope. Why is it not doing anything? Surely it's supposed to do something. Okay. Did the game seriously already break? Because I remember this happening when I played the first time. It did not leave the most positive impression on me. Oh! It's one of the Mad Doctor's Beetle works. He reprogrammed Oswald. it. Maybe you could reprogram it to deal with those. Whoa! Oswald, I don't think you did your job right. Well, there's nothing I can do. Wish I could, but, uh... The game does appear to have broken, so... Alright, well, as I said, I need to start keeping these episodes at a better length. So I'm going to end right here. Next time, we will continue going forward to whatever is next.
and hopefully the game will not continue to be broken. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, Jesus loves you.